So now we are being joined by West Indian head coach Phil Simmons, who is very familiar to Indian audience. And the, my first question, uh, Phil, that how do you look at this series? Because there is not a huge build-up for this series. In, in, in Indian team was in England, they won the series, and suddenly they have arrived. The rain is everywhere. So from coach point of view, how how has been the build-up? It's been good. We had a couple good days of practice. Um, today is raining, so nothing. But we had two good days, and the build-up is there. I think it, you're playing against India, and you're going to be um, playing international cricket. The build-up is always there. The anxiety is there. The intensity is there. So tomorrow morning will be a different story. Do you think, uh, since uh, the underdog tag will help you, because in this year, 2022? West Indies doesn't uh, didn't have a great run in in ODI cricket. Does it work for you because there is no serious expectations? Well, it works for some people. It works for some players that they they are on the road. It works. It doesn't work for others because they want to be um, at the top. And we are all hurting because of the way we played so far for the year. So I think maybe the underdog will help. But at the same time, we are not looking at ourselves as underdog. We're looking at way home and we want to play good cricket and try and beat India. A huge debate is going on in India, and I, I'm sure you must be aware of that debate. So I want to know your coach point of view. Virat Kohli, one of the most formidable batsmen of this era, he is not there. So people have different kind of opinion. So as a coach, rival coach, are you please relieved that he is no longer there? So what, what is your take on that Virat's absence uh, for the touring party? I, I don't. I don't. I don't. Um... I'm not happy that people are not there because you want to play against the best players and, and we all know Virat's record says that he's one of the best players of all time. So it's a little bit disappointed that he's not here. It would have been nice to have him here and for us to be playing against him, I'm sure all the guys would have loved that competition. So, you know, it's a little bit disappointing for us that he's not here. Are you a little surprised, Phil? Because you, you are aware of Indian culture. You have toured this country as a player, then as a coach. Kind of passion India has. The way they are treating Virat Kohli, the batsman. Are you surprised the kind of criticism he is coping, with, uh, coping up with? <laughs> in, in, in everywhere you go, you have that criticism. People want you. I'm sure the people want him to do well. I'm sure the criticism comes from them wanting him to do well all the time. But nobody can do well all the time. So that's how it is in this game. Uh, as a coach, does it put you in a tricky situation like uh, someone like Rahul Dravid, you know, he's a big player, T20 World Cup is coming, you don't want to rest him, he's not going through great trend. Ricky Ponting the other day said that if he's a coach of India, he would have Virat any cost. Someone saying no, give the chance. As a coach, if you are coach of the Indian team, how would you handle this kind of tricky situation? Where, the, how, how, you, how would you handle that? Well, you see, that's the thing. I'm not the coach of the Indian cricket team. I know. Rahul will have to make that decision. He is there. Um, if I were there, then I would think about it and I would think how I would do that that job. But I'm not there, so I leave that up to Rahul. Okay. I, I I saw yesterday Rahul Dravid and team were practicing against left armers, local left armers. You have two of the fine left armers who are very uh, uh, you know economical at, as far as bowling is concerned, and then obviously they they are wicket takers. Do you have a specific plan to target with the left arm and left arm? Is this young Indian batting lineup? Is it short on experience? But even if we had a plan, would I tell you that now so that the, the whole team knows? Now we will. We are working on on how we want to play against this Indian team, and at the end of the day, tomorrow we'll see what works for us. My final question, Phil. Thank you so much for all this time. Uh, uh, do you think that West Indies can seriously challenge this Indian team, even if they are depleted? I, th I think we can challenge anyone as long as we play to our potential. We can challenge any team in the world right now. Thank you so much, Philip. No problem.